Salutations! Welcome to Loving the Language of Literacy. My name is Sophia Lee and today I'm doing my Christmas Booktubeathon Day 1 update and my Now Playing Stoner and Spaz Part 2 mini review. As you know from my previous video on Thursday, I am participating in the Christmas Booktubeathon and I am going to be doing daily vlogs uploaded the next day of the readathon. So Friday's update is going to be uploaded Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, you get the drill. I am going to be updating you on my progress and how my day went in terms of reading and blogging and productivity in general and then I will go in depth either on a discussion or a mini review or just something to do with reading slash book themselves. Today was not the most productive reading day or productive day in general. This entire week I've been getting a lot of things done. I have lengthy to-do lists every single day and getting lots of tasks accomplished but today was just not my day and it's good to have days off and breaks so I'm not being stressed out about that. At the same time, it's not very good that this feeling came right at the beginning of a readathon because I obviously did not read as much as I could slash wanted to. My original TBR that I posted yesterday included books that my best friend Emma has given me for Hanukkah, but it turns out they haven't arrived in time, so I will be starting those immediately when I get them, so hopefully, fingers crossed, they will be coming today when you see this video being uploaded. But anyway, what I did read on Friday was Now Playing Stoner and Spaz Part 2 by Ron Coder, which is the sequel to the book Stoner and Spaz that I read yesterday. I technically was reading this on Thursday too. I only got eight pages in, so I'm just going to say that I read the whole thing, which totaled up to 200 pages. It's a very quick read. The first book is fantastic. If you don't know what Stoner and Spaz is about, it is about a stoner, otherwise known as a drug addict, named Colleen, and a spaz, aka a boy with cerebral palsy, named Ben. And the two of them meet in the middle of a movie theater, and they have this ongoing twisted relationship throughout the entire first book involving self-discovery and identity and Ben with cerebral palsy has never really been like the other kids obviously and his passion is watching movies because he doesn't have the physical capabilities to do sports or other hobbies that require rigorous physical activity. When he meets Colleen he gets plunged into this world and is basically woken up for the first time in his life. New experiences and new ideas and just because he has CP does not mean he's a useless spaz. And he finds his passion for filmmaking as well as befriends his, his elderly next door neighbor, Marcy, who has a video camera and a movie. Who does that sound like? And what he does is he makes a film called High School Confidential about the various kids at his high school. And it is a really good story full of very well developed characters and relationships despite only being around 170 pages. And it was really good. However, the sequel was not so hot. I gave it 2 out of 5 stars. And I disliked it quite a lot in comparison at least. It was a classic duology that probably should not have been a duology. My two top examples are of course the proxy and the audacious duology. And both books had stunning debuts in the duologies. But the second ones tanked so badly. And that's how I feel about part two. Basically I did not feel half as much for the characters that I did in the first book mostly because it wasn't the same relationships we were focusing on and the relationships Ben and Marcy and Ben and his grandmother were replaced by Ben and this new girl named AJ and Ben and his mother. And while those were interesting to see how they played in the story they were not as good and the, and the dynamics didn't feel quite as strong as they did in the first book. However I also disliked Colleen's relationship with Ben because it seemed so tumultuous and so I don't know what the heck's going on. I'm going to break up with you one day. I'm going to be in love with you the next. And it's basically, it was because of Colleen's character and who she was, but it got to a point where it annoyed me. Nevertheless, I would highly recommend the first book. That's it for my day one book two update. Really short, quick wrap up of sorts where I did a mini review as you know because you just watched it and I will see you tomorrow with my update so look forward to that because daily vlogs for three days straight. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a great time. Keep calm and read on.
Christmas booktube. Oh, that, I messed up on that. I was. 